Hey, hi. Hi, Mona. And if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. <clears throat> it's time for another reading. So I do have the uh, Tarot of Dreams. Okay. These are pre-shuffled, so I'm going to go ahead and shuffle one time just to get a general energy card. Okay. You guys might hear some thunder out there because there's it's thundering a little bit. It's not raining or anything. It's just thundering. Maybe not raining right here, but, you know. Okay. we got the King of Cups here. Cancer Price of Scorpio. All right. This person is, um, oh, did you see that the candle flickered when I said that? Mm. Um, this guy is a loving guy, you know, he's very loving and caring and all that. I see the Pisces symbol right there. I also see the Aquarius symbol. So maybe uh, somebody is dealing with those signs or maybe the King of Cups is a Pisces or has Pisces in their chart somewhere. Who knows? Um, <clears throat> the way he's looking, though, I feel like he's watching somebody. Or he's watching his own cup, maybe. The cup is empty, though. In this picture, the cup is empty. Maybe he he doesn't show himself enough love, right? Or maybe he wants somebody to fill his cup. I don't know. This guy's pretty loving and caring, though. It doesn't show it too much, but he's a pretty, you know, caring person. Loving, nurturing, uh, possibly a good father, you know. But in the reverse, you know, this is a 50-50 card. We got somebody that's none of those things. The selfish person. Not very caring, not very loving, not a very good father either. Teaching their children the wrong things or manipulating them or whatever. You know, I don't know. But we have this here. Okay. Let's go ahead and start out with five cards. If you're a returning uh, subscriber, welcome back. Welcome back. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you like the readings. I'm glad you like the stories and the concept, right? <clears throat> Hopefully you've been getting out and getting some sun, though, okay? If you are new here, welcome. Uh, if you like the story or my concepts of the tarot, uh, go ahead and subscribe and like if you want. If not, it's okay, too. I like to promote for people to go outside and enjoy themselves, not to be stuck on the tarot. But if you have a problem and you need to come here and maybe a story resonates, maybe there's some solutions for you to get out of that funk, right? So let's see what we have today. But I'm glad you're here either way. And I hope that um, we can bring some happiness into your life somehow, right? <clears throat> I say we because I got two doggies right here. <laughs> you know? Okay. Well, I need to get two more cards here, please. Two more cards. Two more cards. I only post just about one a day only. I don't uh, go overboard with the tarot. Nobody should be stuck at home, you know, on the tarot, you know. Um, you should be getting out into nature, enjoying yourself, you know? Okay, what is this one? It's kind of sideways. Okay, it's upright. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the wheel, right? This is about the wheel of fortune. We've got the symbol of Jupiter right there. Good luck. Somebody here might be, you know, experiencing some good luck, some good karma. Right? We have the number four here. Somebody could be a life path number four. Somebody could just resonate with the number four. This is like a compass, though, isn't it? Kind of. I don't know. Somebody might be trying to decide which way to go. Which path is best for them. You know what I'm saying? Any path of happiness is the best for you. Sitting and stressing out and being upset. This is not the right path, right? We have some people out there experiencing that with this wheel of fortune in the reverse. Not doing so good, you know? 
Maybe you didn't do very good to people in the past and you're feeling the karma now. I don't know. Something could be like that. So <clears throat> we'll put this to the side. We have somebody receiving good karma and somebody not so much, right? Not receiving too good karma. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Strength card, the Four of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Five of Cups. Somebody here might be uh, upset that somebody got away with something, right? Could it be this King of Cups got away with something? Or this King of Cups is upset because someone got away with something. Excuse me. Sorry, I was yawning. I'm not bored of this. I just, I don't know. I don't know why I'm yawning. Somebody might need to get some extra sleep out there. I get plenty of sleep. But somebody out there might need to get some extra sleep, staying up at night or something, probably worried, worried about this karma and what somebody may have gotten away with. Somebody could have gotten away with property or money or even somebody's time, wasting someone's time, you know, and that kind of sucks, you know. Let's find out a little bit more about this seven of swords. Who got away with something, right? Who got away with something? Or what did somebody get away with? Okay, we got the King of Cups. So we're dealing with the King of Cups reverse, though. Remember I told you it's a 50-50 card. We could have an upright or reverse person here. So it looks like this person is in the reverse. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Not very loving, not very nice, not a very good father. Um, not very emotional, doesn't care too much about other people, right? Doesn't care about hurting anyone, you know? This person is pretty selfish, okay? That's what I'm hearing, selfish. So we have, this person, uh, doesn't want to play games anymore, right? Or somebody doesn't want to play games with this King of Cups, right? Mm-hmm. And, you know, this King of Cups hasn't put in any work on himself, you know, or this King of Cups could have been working with another group to take advantage of someone. Yeah, it kind of looks like that. Somebody here was trying to take advantage of another individual and, um... Kind of, uh, they got away with something. Somebody could have been planning here, planning some, uh, you know, deceptions. This, I, I feel like this is something that, that people have been planning, right? To hurt somebody. Um, but they were trying to act like they weren't playing any games. No, everything is fine. We're doing good. I'm not playing no games. But low key, this person was. Right? This person was playing games. And he was doing it with other people. So there were other people involved with this deception. Somebody said they weren't playing games. What's at the bottom of the deck? Okay, King of Pentacles. So we have the King of Pentacles right here. Um, and it could be upright or reverse. Now the upright uh, King of Pentacles is somebody who does everything properly, right? They don't cheat people. King of Pentacles in the reverse is somebody who, you know, however they get their money, they do it the sneaky way. Fraud. Stealing. You know, the criminal way. So we have a couple people here. Somebody here could have been working with somebody who it was a criminal. Yeah. Trying to take advantage of people. You know, for some reason, I'm hearing fraud. Somebody could have signed papers that they shouldn't have signed, right? Something like that. Taking advantage of others, right? Uh, maybe slandering saying, oh, this person is not good, they can't do it, they can't take care of themselves, or I don't know why I'm thinking that stuff. For some reason, that's going on here. Okay, so tell me about the strength card here. I want to do a quick shuffle. 
tell me about this strength card here, card of Leo, right? Somebody could have been dealing with a Leo. This person's in the upright, though. Can't really mess with this person. This is a strong individual. This is somebody who, uh, you know, could possibly be working alone, you know? I don't know. But tell me about this strength card. I got this strength card. Somebody definitely wants this person to, to, to come back or this person wants somebody to come back with that eight of cups in the reverse. But this also is the moon card in reverse. So somebody could have found something out about some secrets and illusions that somebody was trying to hide. Somebody was trying to be sneaky right here. I told you somebody could have been doing something sneaky. This uh, person has possibly found out about the sneaky stuff going on, and, and it could have been some bad stuff. So we have the Seven of Pentacles there also, which is a star card, the card of healing. Somebody's healing from somebody's deception. Three of Cups, there was a third-party situation, you know. I told you that somebody, and it, and it could involve money. Somebody could have been trying to take someone's money or some of it or I'm hearing fraud again, okay? So, you know, at the bottom of the deck, Two of Cups, somebody could have been manipulating somebody's emotions or heart. We got the, the King of Cups here. This person could have been the one getting manipulated, right? Uh, or this person was the manipulator, right? It's one or the other. Um, but somebody here it was strong enough to figure out or smart enough uh, to figure out that there were secrets and illusions here. So they started their healing process and uh, also found out that there's a third party situation. Somebody was working with others to, you know, play games, even though they said they weren't right. Or somebody was involved with people who are playing games with them. So they thought everything was going OK and everything was fine, but it really wasn't. People were being sneaky behind the scenes. Two of Cups here could have involved the heart, right? Lovers, two people in love uh, could have been involved right here. And we have third parties trying to interfere. You know, somebody wants this strong person to come back, though. Um, but I don't know if they're coming back, especially since they found out about the secrets, the illusions, and also uh, the third party situation. Okay. Tell me about this uh, Four of Cups. Somebody, you know, in the end, after all is said and done, somebody wants to make an offer. But I don't know if anybody's going to take this offer. They're going to come in and speak some truth about a situation. Somebody might come and tell somebody about uh, somebody stealing from them. Uh, you know, and that they were trying to manipulate somebody by using some sort of emotional tactics, right? Uh, hitting where it hurts, right? Uh deceiving somebody through their heart space right uh and that you know somebody here can't sleep at night because of this whole situation so somebody wants to come back and tell somebody something they want to tell them the truth about something and about this emotional manipulation they can't sleep at night they're having a hard time they're feeling guilty look two of cups still there right they're feeling guilty because they have feelings for this individual right Somebody didn't know that others were plotting and planning against this person, this this nice person, this kind person, but they're able to figure everything out. They figured everything out and they've already started their healing. They know that there was a third party. They know there were secrets and illusions, but somebody still wants to come and speak the truth. They want to tell them the truth about what really went on, right? Because they can't sleep at night. They're tripping out. Yeah. They can't even sleep. They're having a rough night's sleep. They're feeling guilty over something. You know, this person may or may not have been involved with this situation. Or maybe they found out later what happened. You know? Knight of Cups. This is the obstacle or illusion. I'm sorry, obstacle or advice, right? Now, I think the advice here is to speak some honest emotional truth, right? Uh, but it could also be uh, an obstacle because somebody here could be, um, you know, afraid to express their emotions. Some people have a hard time to do that. Tell me about this Knight of Cups right here. Okay. 
Somebody is going to try to avoid the tower moment. Six of Wands is the tower, but it also indicates that there's some failure here. Uh, whoever was trying to manipulate another person, it didn't work, right? And somebody wants to avoid a tower with somebody. But they're having a hard time coming and talking about it. So I told you that somebody might have a hard time expressing their emotions. We have the Knight of Pentacles, and this is the slowest moving knight in the deck. They're having a hard time coming forward because they're not so good at explaining these kind of things. They're feeling guilty. They're feeling bothered. They can't sleep at night. Uh, they're trying to avoid a tower moment problem is is there's no communication going on right now and somebody doesn't want to talk to somebody and it turn into an argument or a fight yeah at the bottom of the deck we do have the ten of cups somebody's interested in having a happy life or happy family happy home with someone right but unfortunately somebody is also stuck in a situation where there is no happiness and they're they're feeling disappointed in themselves and in their life you know because well, I mean, they shouldn't have been doing something or uh, they should have been opening their eyes more. I don't, somebody, I feel like somebody manipulated another person or a group manipulated another person uh, to um, do some sort of deception to another. And this person the whole time was like blind to it. Like they didn't see what was really going on. And then later on, they did find out and they're like, oh my God, this is why. Because they see that somebody is doing okay, they're strong, they want somebody to come back, but they they did a whole bunch of stuff over here. They did a whole bunch of deceptive stuff that they thought it was going to be okay, but it's not okay. It wasn't okay, you know? And they thought it was funny. We have a group that could have thought that, that deceiving or hurting another person was funny, and it wasn't. Especially since somebody caught feelings for another person and now they're feeling guilty for it and they're like, shoot, I should have never done that. Five of Cups, right? In the end here, somebody's going to be sad over the loss of this relationship. So because of what happened, somebody's not going to be building any sort of stability with this person. This person could have wanted to build stability with somebody. They wanted to be there. They wanted to partner up. They wanted to go out or whatever right but they're gonna end up feeling sad over the loss of this relationship uh because somebody left the situation to go somewhere better we have the six of swords this is leaving a toxic situation to go somewhere better so somebody left somebody left another individual somebody doesn't want to build with them and whoever doesn't want to build with them they're sad look there's no love here you get no love so whoever was like deceiving the other person and the other person kind of caught on and they're like, you know what? I don't want to deal with these, this person or these people or whatever. Uh, I know what's going on. I can tell, you know, it's kind of like she has a little star on her forehead. Like the third eye is open. Like she realized something like she saw the lies and the deception right here. And uh, I'm, I'm saying she because there's a lady there, but this could also be a man and this could be a lady that deceived a man or whatever. You know what I mean? But the main per person we have here is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. And either this person was being very deceptive and hurting people, which we have this King of Cups right here. So there is one person that was a being very bad and deceptive and secrets, illusions, slandering. Uh, fraud just doing the most and then we have somebody who is actually nice here and they're like darn I kind of like that other person I kind of like this strength person uh, but now everything is so screwed up they're feeling guilty they want to tell the truth but they have a problem with expressing emotion mm -hmm. and you know their advice here is to express that emotion but they're not going to do it because they're worried about a tower moment. They're worried about failure. They're afraid to talk to somebody. Um, it's showing here that they're taking their time and they will eventually come through. But by the time they come through, it's going to be too late because somebody doesn't want to build any uh, swift movement to build any kind of stability with this person. This person doesn't love them. Or if they did in the past, they don't anymore. They see this person as toxic and they want to leave or, or they left. Right, bottom of the deck, four of swords, it's over. This is the death card. It's over. It's done. 
Yeah. If you're a person and you were deceived by someone who you trusted or you love them or they were cool with you and all that stuff, you know, it's over. Leave it alone. You shouldn't even be coming here to wonder how are they feeling or what are they doing. You shouldn't even care anymore. You know, they hurt you. They hurt you and they deceived you and they didn't think about your feelings. You know? This card is the death card. It's over. You don't even need to reflect on it. You can if you want. Maybe to, you know, gather up the information so you know what the red flags are if you encounter something like this again. But it's over. You know what I mean? You don't want to relive this anymore. Right? You may be on that wheel of fortune upright moving forward, but I'll guarantee you the people who are on this wheel of fortune in reverse is this king of cups in reverse. This person who did bad things against you, you know, if you're resonating with this, it's just a story, you know, it's, it can be a lot of people's story, but the, the main focus here is it's over. Leave it alone. Go out and find joy in your life and find happiness because, you know, that's who you are. You're strong enough to do that and you're strong enough to step away from all this terrible whatever this was, right? We have esteemed. Where can I put these? Esteemed. Depressed. Grateful. Depressed again. Dishonest. And honest. Wow. So you were dealing, if you were the person that you didn't really do nothing wrong and people were all against you, you were the honest one. The dishonest people were all these people trying to hurt you, you know? And, and I feel like, you know, you should be grateful because you kind of know this. I feel like somebody kind of knows this. And these people are depressed now, feeling guilty because I feel, almost feel like they're feeling the, the karma, right now you could also be a very esteemed person people who find esteem smart intelligent kind you know uh loving person and then you got these depressed weirdos over here dishonest and depressed because they got caught mm -hmm. somebody got caught or somebody realized the deception and they left you know this person, if you were the person who was who was good and you didn't make any problems, you're probably a very grateful person, grateful for your life and grateful for things in your life. And we have these people over here who are just not grateful for shit. All they want to do is hurt others because they don't care about coming up themselves and doing things the right way. Dishonesty. Yeah, remember we saw that uh, King of uh, Pentacles in the reverse? That was a 50-50 car. So we have somebody out here who was getting their money and doing their stuff uh, illegally, hurting others. You know what I'm saying? That was that would be towards Virgo Capricorn. Okay. Um, we also have Cancer, Scorpio here. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Taurus, Virgo Capricorn. All the signs are here, you guys. All of them. So if it resonated, you guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, keep it true love energy. Happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona. It's Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.